Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. I decided to stop by the lot for motorhome specialists. They have a big lot. This is just one section. They have another section over there, another section over there, another section over there. They must have several hundred motorhomes here and a few uh, fifth wheels, odds and ends, trade ins. Let me turn on the camera. Right over there is I-35 West. So if you're headed from uh, Minneapolis to Corpus Christi, you know where to go. So I'm gonna be checking out these Odyssey 20 C, 22Cs. They have quite a few of them. 22Cs. And again, they have tons of RVs over there. Tons of RVs over there. Tons of RVs. And of course, they're very well known for giving 25% off. You know, if you want to buy something, they'll give you 25% off, I'm pretty sure. You can always ask for more. So there's the 22C. And again, this is a row of 22Cs, so they have plenty to choose from. If you like the color white, you're set. You're set. I like this cap. It's a fabulous cap. You know, nice fiberglass, full fiberglass cap. And this is a Ford, a very nice Ford. It's an E450 cutaway chassis. The tires are Hank Cook. Good size mirrors. These are good size mirrors. I like these mirrors. These are perfect size mirrors. And here's one side. Let me let me go. I usually go the other way around, but I'm gonna go this way around this time, okay? So behind door number one is uh, Onan QG 4000 uh, generator. Very nice. And behind this door, let's see, some storage, metal storage. Let me bang it for you. Hey, is that noisy enough? Yes, it is. So there's a metal storage box there. Let me uh, lock it up. They give you stainless steel uh, liners for the steel rims. For the adventurous and the creative types, you can always uh, replace those with aluminum rims or magnes magnesium rims, whatever kind of rims they got. Mags, mags, yes. So this is another uh, area here, storage under the slide. And it has a bunch of information here. Uh, two and six city fixtures, one and six city fill tank, etc., etc. It has a little light there and low point trains. And again, this is make metal. Should last a couple weeks, that metal, huh? And there's a gasoline fuel tank. This is the bedroom slide, Schwintech slide mechanism and has a ladder going to the uh, roof. Yeah, the four and the seven-way pin, and um, there's a tow area, and of course it has a four-inch uh, bumper where you can put your stinky slinky. Let me back up a little bit so you have a view of the back. The light is hitting the camera a certain way. You have a nice size window there, and that's for the bedroom. Let me go on this side, show you this side. Again, this is a good size. Class C. It's a small Class C. They have bigger ones. They have much bigger ones. So let's open this here. And again, you have a metal box here. Again, right there. Over here. Let's take a peek, see what we got here. This is what I found very interesting. They're not using the piece of shit uh, Go Power uh, PWM uh, charge controller. That's, again, a piece of shit. They're using actually the MPPT charge controller. Amazing. And then you have some receptacles and an area for the antenna. I approve. I seriously, seriously approve. 
that everybody get into MPPT, not PWM, because PWM uh, basically is a waste of time, in my humble opinion. And right here is a propane tank, it needs a little uh, wash. And again, this is a 22 C Integra Odyssey Integra SE Special Edition. Yes, this is super special. Special Edition. And these are all, again, Special Edition. That's I-35. That way to Minneapolis. This way to Corpus Christi, okay? Look at that. Very nice. Let's go inside. Right here, I'm pretty sure they hide the batteries. Uh, let me see if I can open this up. Uh, yes, they have some budget batteries there. And you can replace these with, uh, you can replace those with uh, lithium. Should be no problem. Let me see if I get this right. Let me try it again. Again, you're watching this all, uh, I'll just put it this way, how about that? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Let me close the door and let me open this up so you get some little bit of light. <sighs> the window shades are super budget. They have these accordion style pleated shades that are absolute uh, bottom rung of the uh, old uh, RV uh, continuum. Uh, better would have been uh, day-night shades, something like that. These windows slide, has two areas for cups. This is a sealed membrane uh, tabletop. And uh, on most of these, they have like, yes they do. They have seat belts for one, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six people. So you can have people sleep up here. Two large folks or one very large person. Uh, two uh, not so large folks here and uh, the couple can sleep back here or the kids uh, you can pick and choose and fight over it and see how it works out okay let me put this up get a little bit of light that's a good emergency uh, window again the pleated shades I don't like nice little area back there for your headrest and some uh, storage up here let me just open it up these aren't the fanciest uh cabinets but they'll do you have controls for the slide right there and light and this right here i'm pretty sure the closet it's a good size closet don't you think that's a good size closet and you have rather rudimentary drawers these uh typically in some units the slides actually cut sort of stop the drawer from opening up, but these don't even do that. So if you're going down the road, these things are gonna probably open up. So I would recommend putting a magnet here, and a magnet up here, a magnet over here, and a magnet up here, maybe even a magnet here and up here. <laughs> do careful uh, measurements and you should be set. You have little areas on the side here. And uh, again, let me open it up a little bit, get a little bit of light. Very nice, very nice. Everything there for your phones, tablets, beverages, snacks. So I'm way in the back, show you the floor, bathroom to the immediate right, storage immediately left. I'm gonna go like this and come back this way, okay? So nice handles. Very shallow storage, only about five inches. Ouch. Again, five inches. Looks like DVD storage almost. Controls for the Coleman Mach air conditioning heater. More storage up here. Goes all the way across. And here's the dash of the Ford. For the four trucks, the E450 and stuff like that, they don't make them look too fancy like the Transit has state-of-the-art stuff. This does not have state-of-the-art stuff. 
Okay, there's a steering wheel, controls, area for three cups, some storage up there, some more storage, a nice little glove box, and the Sony uh, infotainment system. And these chairs I do like them. They are super, super fluffy. You will not uh, feel fatigued you know, driving for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve hours. It's all up to you how long you go. And up here, there's a shot of the uh, mattress. Of course, it's full from there, plops down up there and fills in the area. And there's some controls there. I do not know what they do in some mesh storage areas, area for a cup, receptacles, USB, cup area, TV, insignia, etc., etc. I'm quite sure these are to hold uh, a cover for the, uh, you know, just to block out the light here, separate those people from the, from the rest of the folks. And you do have to step down or step up to move from that point to this point, okay? There's a fancy little mattress. I mean, not mattress, I mean rug. This is really decent quality down here. I'm, I'm really impressed by this. Again, I've seen uh, very expensive uh, motorhomes that don't have this. MPPT, is that right there? MPPT, again, what is the MPPT? Solar remote. Excellent electronic leveling, propane gas alarm, main power, power step on or off, and a speaker inside and outside, awning control, exterior lights, some receptacles, and I do not know what that's for. Okay, I do not. And they have a little piece of frosted glass here to protect your privacy. And again, those uh, mediocre to poor accordion shades. The upgrade of this again would be you know, blinds, pull down uh, day night shades. And up here, you have controls for the generator, check your levels, tank heaters, water pump, water heater, LP and electric, etc., etc. And over here we have some uh, storage. Rudimentary uh, hardware, very rudimentary. And uh, right there, it closes like that. And they have the microwaves plugged in right there. This should stay still going down the road. You have twin sinks and uh, thermofoil uh, laminated countertops. Very nice. And a decent little attempt at uh, subway tile. Very nice. Genuine plastic. I like it. I like it a lot. And then you have this glass cover for the two burner suburban uh, stovetop. And of course, you gotta be very careful. Stuff goes down these little gaps. These are not sealed burners. Uh, it's rare to see sealed burners in a mid to low end RV, okay? Drawer there, let me see what it looks like. Again, uh, it was too easy to open. It just opens without any sort of uh, magnets or controls or clips or something. This is just gonna open up as you're driving the road. All of a sudden, make a sharp turn, boink, it flies out. Same over here. Got one, two, three, there, storage. This is under sink storage. Did I show you this earlier? No, I didn't. Under sink storage and also some more information down there. Very nice. In lieu of a gas burning oven, you have an electric uh, convection microwave grill from the folks at High Point. That'll work as long as you're hooked up to power. If you're not hooked up to power, you're just gonna have to make do with this right here and fry or warm up <laughs> something there, okay? I do like these Furion refrigerators. They're better than the GEs that I've been seeing, which is a hair product, which is H-A-I-R, Chinese product. So these Furions are better. Even though they're also made in China, they're still very good. A little better quality. This is the fridge area, and you have some controls up there, okay? Let me open this. This is a little mechanism here. And this is the freezer area. It has two levels. 
Very nice. And a little shelf. Very nice. Typical, uh, most of our RVs of this size, or uh, refrigerators that are of this size, rather, uh, they don't have those shelves like that in their freezer area. Finally, let's go inside the uh, restroom. Of course, we do have a, a curtain that covers this area, so in case you want some privacy and you're quiet, you can have a, quite a bit of quiet privacy, okay? There's the toilet. Genuine plastic. Of course, you can always replace that with a ceramic porcelain flush toilet. Right there's the uh, mm -hmm. hold for the paper. It says here bath light, bath fan, and again, get some light. I like light. Medicine cabinets, plenty of room for all your stuff. Your toothpaste, your toothbrush, your combs, your brushes, whatever you want to put in there. Get a little ring, towel ring. This is very nice. It's, it's already, let me see, that's just goop. I thought it was rusting. It's goop. This uh, stainless steel uh, sink, and of course, a uh, sealed membrane countertop, which is very nice. Receptacles, storage under there. And let's see what the, how this works out. This is a plop out. Again, it's a plop out for the sink. Very nice. Let's open both of these up. See the picks and the other types of uh, plumbing. Got an area there for your uh, robe, your outfit. Let's take a peek inside the shower. This has the uh, again. This uh, works a certain way, and there's the. Uh, shower head. This is raised off the ground about a good nine inches, so you're going to have to make a serious step. So if you're having uh, issues, it might be a hassle. Okay. Okay, here we are. Let me turn around the camera. Wow, I'm wearing my hat. No problems. i got plenty of room here. I'm 5'10", 170 pounds. Uh, before lunch, very nice. I like this. Plenty of room. Genuine, uh, simple surround, but it works. It works. I, I would love to own this. Wouldn't you love to own this? Especially if you're uh, starting out. Let me turn around the camera. Again, where would I put my hand? If uh, I'm going to put my hand here, can I put it here? This is too weak. Maybe in this little section here I'm, as I'm going out. Let me see. Because sometimes that area gets all wet, and that's not good. Okay, let's go check out one of the other units, and the one with the unit with the actual, I'm gonna have to, with the actual slide in, okay? Let me close this door. Let's go outside and check it out. So what do you think of this table? I like this table. I like this table a lot. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six people can go camping together. Great for families, groups, large groups of friends, etc., etc. So now we're in the RV with the slide in. This is how it looks like with the slide in. So you can still get around. You can go around this way if you're skinny. And you can go around to your heart's content. Okay, I didn't show you these lights. Have lights on each end and they also have these uh, areas where you can charge let's see how these work they either can charge this way or they charge that way and they can be put back like that there we go <laughs> it's a pretty good size uh, thick mattress I like it it's a good uh, estimate five inches of mattress that's a good mattress don't you think and finally, let me show you the air conditioning in the ceiling. You have uh, vents all through the air conditioner here, and it's nice low profile. 
So you have that. And let me show you the fans. You have a uh, area there where you can put a fan, a nicer fan, a little fan here, etc. etc. Thanks for checking out my video on the 22C SE Special Edition uh, by Integra. Very nice. Under $90,000 uh, classy. Plenty of room for at least uh, three, four, five, maybe six people. It's all a matter how small they are and how friendly you are if you can actually get along. That's always a positive, okay? Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. This is a rather modest channel. And uh, I'm at Motorhome Specialist in Alvarado, Texas. They don't know I'm on a lot. I just came on here and started shooting this video. Don't tell them that I was here, okay? Don't tell them. Don't inform them uh, that I was here because it's a secret between you and me, okay? And uh, please leave your kind and friendly comments below. Abajo. I would greatly appreciate it. Ring the bell for future notifications and check out my website, my photo website specific to this channel. And the information, the links are in the description and also below here somewhere, somewhere. From Alvarado, Texas, I'm headed back home, 22 miles back home to Fort Worth, Texas. Hope you're doing fantastic. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.